Hello my fellow miner, today we're going to have a look at Conflux Network, also known as Conflux and CFX. Technology wise it's actually quite awesome, you can mine it and then you can stake it. Unfortunately for Conflux, their main aim was the Asian countries to start with and China of course banned all cryptocurrencies which hit Conflux pretty hard and resulted in me setting over 10,000 Conflux. But besides that, it's actually quite awesome. All you'll need is a wallet, you can get one from Conflux Portal, then NB Miner and or T-Rex Miner, depending on your personal preferences and depending on what you see in the end of the video where we have a look at the overclocking results for pretty much all the graphic cards in the RTX 3000 series that are LHR enabled. Conflux network is not NLR enabled, so you shouldn't have any problem no matter which graphic card you're using. And now the graphic cards introduction. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3050 from MSI, the Ventus 2X, the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming, it has been working perfectly, a very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their Tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. We also have the MSI Venture 3, which is also an RTX 3060 Ti. Rocking Hynix RAM, but this time it's a revision 2 and that means it can actually clock up to 1700 in Windows or 3400 in Hive OS. This very nice card is super slim and super noisy. Then we have the RTX 3070 iChill 4X from Eno 3D, it's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch, I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060, oh boy was I wrong, what a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead, even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. The RTX 3080 12GB RAM edition from Gigabyte, the gaming overclock, LHR Extreme. Okay, it's not actually called Extreme. Unfortunately, my RTX 3080 Ti is on vacation and will be back after repairs. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. Now let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings. The top half of the screen is T-Rex Miner and the bottom half is NP Miner. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3050 Mining Cutflux Network. I set the core clock offset to 50. The memory to 1800 in Hive OS and 900 in Windows, the fan speed at 80% and the power limit to 100 watts. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Now it's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Mining Conflux Network. I set the core clock offset to 50, the memory clock to 1800 in high watts, 900 in windows, the fan speed to 80% and the power limit to 115 watts. If you are using windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix memory revision 1 mining conflux network. 
and I set the core clock offset to 50, the memory to 1800 in high OS, 900 in Windows, the fan speed to 80% and the power limit to 155. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Now it's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Memory Revision 2 Mining Conflux Network. I set the core clock offset to 50, the memory clock to 1800 in high voice and 900 in Windows. Fan speed at 80% and the power limit to 155. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. The time has come to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070. I set the core clock to 50, the memory clock to 1800 in high voice, 900 in Windows, the fan speed to 80% and the power limit to 145. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti Mining Conflux Network. I set the core clock to 50, the memory clock to 0, the fan speed to 80 and the power limit to 220. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Now it's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 10 gigs mining conflux network. I set the core clock offset to 50, the memory clock to 0, the fan speed to 80 and the power limit to 255 watts. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. And now the final card until I get my RTX 3080 Ti back from repairs. The RTX 3080 12 gigs overclock settings for mining conflux network. I set the core clock offset to 50, the memory clock to minus 2000 in high OS, minus 1000 in Windows. Fan speed at 80% and the power limit to 275 watts. If you are using Windows, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. We have finally come to the point where we are going to look at the average reported results for each card. First we are going to look at NB Miner version 40.1 using the Nvidia driver 510.47.03. The fee is 3%. And now the average reported result for the RTX 3050. 25.6 MHz per second at 99 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.259. Now let's have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3060. 41.1 MHz per second at 114 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.361. And now the average reported results for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Memory Revision 1. 50.4 MHz per second at 154 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.327. Now the average reported results for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Memory Revision 2. 51.1 MHz per second at 154 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.332. And now the average reported results for the RTX 3070. 53.4 MHz per second at 144 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.371. And now, the average report of salt for the RTX 3070 Ti. 65.1 MHz per second at 219 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.297. And now, the average report of salt for the RTX 3080 10 gigs. 82 MHz per second at 254 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.323. And now, the average reported result for the RTX 3080, 12 gigs. 82.1 MHz per second at 273 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.301. So, that was actually quite disappointing for the RTX 3080, 12 gigs. Anyway, not much we can do about that. Now it's time to have a look at T-Rex Miner version 0.25.8 with NVIDIA driver 510.74.03 has a fee at 2% and of course all of these are there oh I am mumbling <laughs> let's just move on and have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3050 26.2 megahertz per second and 99 watts which gives an efficiency of 0 0.265 and now the average reported results for the RTX 3060 42.1 MHz per second at 114 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 
And now, let's have a look at the average report results for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1. 52.3 MHz per second at 154 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.340. And now for the average report results for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2. 52.4 MHz per second at 154 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.340. And now, the average report result for the RTX 3070. 54.8 MHz per second at 144 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.381. Let's have a look at the average report results for the RTX 3070 Ti. 65.9 MHz per second at 219 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.301. And now, for the average report results for the RTX 3080. 10 gigs, 82.9 MHz per second at 254 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.326. And now, for the very last card until my RTX 3080 Ti returns, the RTX 3080 12 gigs, 84.7 MHz per second at 274 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.309. Looking at these results, T-Rex Miner is a little bit better than NB Miner, but if you also include the fee, then actually, I would personally pick T-Rex Miner because it's 1% cheaper and it performs a little bit better. If you are used to using NB Miner and you prefer that instead, then go ahead, you are actually not losing out on that much. Before we move on to staking, let's have a quick look at the polls. I tested this on two polls, Hero Miners and Nano Pool. Nanopole has a fee of 1% and is using PPLNS, so pay per last number shares. Hero Miners is using Prop with a fee of 0%. I highly recommend never to mine on Prop, ever actually, no matter which cryptocurrency you are mining. You will see Nice has swoop in and eat up all the rewards, leaving you with the small pieces left. Anyway, I mined 6 hours on each pole, and now we're going to compare the results. Here we have T-Rex Miner and Hive OX for reference 571.5 MHz per second. Hero Miners 539.53 MHz per second after 6 hours. Nanopole 583.0 MHz per second after 6 hours. Of course, 6 hours is most likely not enough to uh, do this test. You should most likely run for at least 24 hours or a whole week. But it does actually show a very concerning pattern. And I also did the same with NB Miner and it was actually around the same result. Now let's have a look at staking. Go to governance.confluxnetwork.org, click Max, click Stake, and enter your password if you don't already have it and then just click confirm. That is it. Give it like 10 seconds or something and then click refresh. You will be able to see what you have staked at the very top. I'll drop the link in the description along with all the other links. The annual staking rate is 4%. That is everything for this time. If you haven't subscribed then please subscribe, like the video and share it with your grandma. It actually helps me out a lot. Hope to see you in the next one. Oh, and just in case you missed it, I'm trying out news with Llama Lame. You can find a video on my channel.